City Skylines. This is my city of Magtropolis and uh, at the end of the last episode guys I had a change of heart. I wasn't going to do any more of the tram because I intended to record this episode straight after the last one. Uh, I've still done that but I spent a half an hour to 45 minutes doing our tram line. Yeah if we just take a quick look. Uh, I've done all of this here and along here and down here. And I've even ran a little line through there. I haven't put any stops in or any trams on yet because it's far from completed. Uh, I haven't touched the train station. Uh, oh, I, I did a little bit of tinkering, but I wasn't happy with it, so I started again. Like, removed what I'd put in. Um, but, yeah, I've also done this, guys. Put our harbour in properly with a seawall around it there nicely. Looks pretty cool. I do like that. What I want to go ahead and do in this episode is a little bit of um, deco, if you like, for the Hard Rock Cafe, which also looks pretty cool all lit up. Uh, but yeah, I want to put in some roads and I've got a, a waterfall and a little monument thing that I would like to put in and around here and then sculpt the land around it. So if we go ahead and make a start on that and then we can drop into the city, and then maybe move up into Magtropolis Lake, I think. Um, but yeah, first, right, we're going to need some roads. Let's get some roads. We're going to go two lane roads. Mm, grass verge. And I'm going to run it from here. To there for now. Um, run a road across there. And then something like that. A little bit further up. Cool. Right. Uh, the first thing I would like to put in here is this thing here, the small luxury plaza, small relaxing place for elitist na elitist neighborhoods uh, and attracts a few high level tourists. What I want to do is go ahead and put that in here. Look at that, Bank Central, boom, 2,500. Not a lot of money. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go and get a footpath actually. We're gonna run a footpath across there, one of these footpaths, and probably, 
Yeah. Uh, we'll get past the rocks, go back to the footpath bit. We'll just run the footpath from there. I'll we'll just go straight, it doesn't need to be anything fancy, just straight to there. Yeah. Looks cool, I like it. Right, next up uh, is going to be Nero's Plaza. That was the other building I wanted to put in here, or the other statue, stroke, monument, whatever you want to call it. Um, but what I want to go ahead and do first is I want to shape this land. So, let's have a look. I would like to... I'm not sure if I've got enough space. I'm just going to pause this while we do this, because I'm hoping I can do this road and then... Allow the water to play out, but I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to. It's look, going to look pretty cool down here anyways, guys. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting this bit finished. I'm going to put like a little beach area in here, which should look alright. Um, let's go and just continue this road probably to there. I'm going to try putting that one in again. Just go with three deep, like so. And then we'll do the turning, so we'll go up to there, and across to there, and we'll do the same that way, like so. Nice little semicircle thing going on there. Right, I'm going to go and find Nero's Plaza. Okay guys, so here is the grand entrance to Nero's Palace Casino, Nero's Plaza. Uh, I want to put that in here, but obviously what has just occurred to me is the footpath that we've got in here, we can't connect that to. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and I'm going to replace that footpath with a road footpath, if that makes any sense at all. Because then we can um, snap stuff to it, so nearest plaza can go on here, so there we go. A little bit wider. Let's go and get our plaza. Um, I'm going to put that there, like so. And then by the time I put like foliage and stuff around that, that'll look pretty awesome. Right, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just reduce the land around it. So, all of this. Move back to probably about there. That includes that bit there as well. Just take that back to about there. I'm just going to grab this height and drag that across there if we can. There we can, there we go. And just do a little bit of smoothing around the bottom of here. I'm going to jump into here now. We'll just increase our tool for smoothing. And I want to Smooth all of this. I'm actually going to pick the whole lot up. And try again. Right, like that. Uh, and then smooth it again, like so. Right, let's play time and see how this pans out. as well. Alright, we'll let the water work its magic and do what it needs to do there. While it's busy doing that, we are going to drop into the city centre area. Uh, and I'm going to put in some roads. I'll put in our new existing road. Or not our new roads. We'll get there in the end. Uh, we're going to go straight roads. And I'm just going to run this alongside that building there. This is our new location for our roads. And then... Obviously we want to make the best use of space, so just run a parallel. Making sure we can get all the zoning areas on it. There we go. And another one in here. Somehow. Right there. I am going to go and remove that little bit of road there, and then I'm going to reconnect that straight on. Something like that. That is going to look pretty awesome there. 
Uh, I'm gonna go do some zoning now, guys. Let's look at people move back in. I mean, we've lost about 13,000 uh, citizens on our population since we decimated this area. So let's try and get this grown back up. We're gonna go with office zoning, I think, a lot along and around here. So I'm just gonna paint it in. Probably something up to there. And run that to there. Like that. I'm going to leave this area blank. Um, up to about there. Like so. And I'm going to run this to here. And up to there. Right. Let's do a little bit of commercial down here. So all of this area here can be commercial. And we're going to do some housing. Some high density housing. So all of this can be housing. Uh, get a bit more office because that is where our demand is for industry. Obviously classes as office as well. So there we go. Put some office on this side of the skyscraper. Also. And this and also be office, why not? All of this. Get rid of that bit there, right. Um yeah, I haven't gone ahead and connected this area up yet, guys. If we just put the signs on, let's have a look. And you can see where this bus station bit isn't connected yet, because I, I wasn't quite sure how I wanted it to work. Um, but I've got a little think. What I would like to do is go ahead and find a building, actually. This building here is what I was thinking of, the Rodolfinum uh, from Prague. I'm not quite sure what it is because I haven't done my homework on it, but I do know it is a massive structure. So we're going to put this in here, I think. 120,000. Wow, look at that. What a beast. That is awesome. Let's see if we can get the road to go all the way around here. So we'll jump into our two-lane road one way. I'm just going to... Hmm, not sure it is. No, it's not. It's a little bit of a shame. I might be able to do something with that. Uh, I'm going to tinker with that off cam, actually, guys. I'm just going to leave it like that as it is. But what I want to do, basically, is get the road to go all the way around, if we can, and connect back onto this side. I want to run this road straight across the tram line and connect it onto here. Um, but that is all still to be decided what we're going to do with that. Or how it's going to work even there. I'm probably going to mess with it off cam. I'm going to go ahead and just grade all of this and allow our water to also take effect on here. And then I'm going to move our marina up onto here probably. That includes just shaping that edge as well. Right, let that do what it needs to do there. Let's have a look at this. This is probably a little bit steeper than I'd like it to be, so I want to try and get another height in here if we can. Yeah, that'll probably work. It's like halfway in between, isn't it? That height. And then if we smooth that. There we go. Like so. That's that's cool. That. That's going to work. Right, now what I want to do is paint that. So get our paint tool. Paint all of this. And this is going to be like a little... A little beach. I think it'll look pretty cool. Right, let's get some rocks. Okay, guys, and this is basically just what I want to do. I just want to just put rocks around the edge here. Um, just all of that. Probably, uh, there's one there. That beast there, do you know? I uh, just basically just want to do that all the way around here, just to make it look pretty cool. It'll be like this little beach area here. Uh, yeah, I'll probably drop them down ever so slightly because I don't want them to peek over here if possible. Or maybe some of them can. I'll just peek. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and put some foliage in and around here, little gardening areas in and around our Hard Rock Cafe. And this is going to look pretty cool. I'm going to... That'll look awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Might have to just move that beach a little bit further back up there, but I'm going to tinker with that off calm now because we've 
wasted enough time on it. Um, yeah. Right, so we've done a little bit of zoning in and around here. Let these guys move in. I want to move it up onto our man-made mountain now. Magtropolis Lake. Uh, it's been a couple of episodes since we've been up here. Just want to get some landscaping tools. I want to just smooth the edge of this, yeah? Uh, so all of that there. Something like so. I've got a cool little building that I want to put up here. I'm just going to go and grab it. It is called this thing here. It is the Healing Springs Clinic. And I want to put this up here because it's got healing springs. So what place for springs to be than on a mountain? Active volcano. Yes, that's what my job is like. It's an active volcano. <laughs> Uh, right, we're going to go with a grass virgin. We're just going to put a straight road just to connect this Healing Springs Clinic on out. Just going to grab it again and just pop it on there like that. And then we're just going to run a road. Uh, yeah, actually we're going to go one way road of grass verge. And I'm going to run it. Free form. Down. There. And then yeah. And then we'll run it round. Like so. And we'll just get our normal road and connect that on to this road like that. There we go, and that's like a one way system y loopy looking thing. Oops. Uh, yeah, and I want to give this like a little garden a little garden area up here. Maybe it's a little car park and put it see what else I can find up put in here actually. Maybe it's a little walkway. This is like a, a relaxing retreat, that's what this is gonna be. The Healing Springs Clinic. I mean it actually is a hospital, it acts as a hospital within the game, but and yeah, not yet. It'll look nice up here. We'll get a bit fencing but Nice little, actually, do a little walkway down here. Maybe just crossing. Down. I don't know. Use my imagination. We'll find something out. Um, I want to go ahead off cam, guys, and put in some rocks in and around here. Just to harshen up the edges a little bit, if you like. Um, something along the lines of this, maybe. And I'll just run it like an edge all the way down there. I think it'll look pretty awesome. Yeah, it's probably another job to do off camera because it will be tedious. But that is going to look cool, actually. That is going to look very awesome. Yeah, so that's uh, another job for us to do off cam. <laughs> Uh, basically, the weekend's coming up, and I'm going to spend a, a few hours trying to do a lot of the work that I've kind of been forgetting about. So, um, we can do this, put in some foliage in and around here. The foliage back in here, I did take out. I've got a lot of. There, I'll start again. I got a lot of new trees, which I did put in here, but that was at about the same time when we started having issues with the trees disappearing. So I removed them to see if that would fix them, and of course that wasn't the issue with the trees. We now know what that is, but um, yeah. So that's that done. Um, okay, I'm going to drop back down the city a second, guys. I will come back up here in a moment. But uh, a couple of episodes we spoke about train stations disappearing, and I didn't get round to replace them, if you like. But I've had a look, and there's a couple I want to put in. One of them is this thing here, the glass terminus station, a modular terminus station in a modern style. I want to put this on here, but we're going to have to go and put a road in for this. So I'm just going to put a footpath in again. Just straight off there. So something kind of like... Actually, no. We're going to go, we'll go over normal road. Just standardised. Straight. And run it off. I'm not going to connect it all the way through to the bus lane. We'll just stop it there. And then I can maybe just put a car park on this side. Uh, let's see. Make sure that this goes in here, actually. 
Ooh, it's tight. Um, might have to move that. Oh no, we don't. Look at that. That's <laughs> the height works out just about right. Uh, let's go ahead and remove that then, and I can just connect it straight up the train line. And before we go and do that, actually, I'm just going to pop this station in because this is the next station I want to put in the 1890 train station, which will go in our area down here where we also lost our station. Uh, it's got three lanes, and three lanes is what it's going to have. That is all. We'll just connect the five lanes onto these current three lanes. So I'll just put that in there. A lot of happy people. Yeah, um, it's awesome. I'm just going to delete that and that and that. And then we'll connect all these lines up. I'm not going to connect them to it. I'll faff around with them off cam because the ones where you're connecting them in, where you're putting um, points and whatnot on, they are notoriously finicky. So, yeah, I'll do that off cam. What, what, nothing stopping us connecting these three to these three. There we go. Like I say, I'll do the other two off cam. We'll head on over here. I'm going to go freeform for this one. Um, I'm going to... There, like so. A little walking track to get across there. Which we're going to go ahead and remove. And I'll just run that around and under there. I'll do that off cam as well. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Uh, like I said, I'll go and put a car park in there. Um, about, yeah, right. Well, we're down here, guys. I'll just head across to this part of our city. Where is it? Ah, yeah. It's starting to build back up. This basically took a massive um, hit. Let's see. I started doing specialised districts, if I just show you. Uh, we started doing this, yeah, where you specialise what sort of industry you want in so I put leisure in here I think it was and we've got tourism in downtown Manhattan uh, and basically putting the leisure in here it everybody moved out all of our businesses that are in here just decided that they no longer wanted to be in here so that made us think uh, I've downloaded a load more mods from Steam Workshop for uh, our nightlife if you like so we've got the Prism Hotel here I lose your money in seconds yay um, but I want to start putting some of these guys in and around here. I think this would uh, help this area out and give it some bright lights as well. So we're going to go with the Prism Hotel there. Look at that. Nice little rainbow thing going on there. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I just want to go and basically fill in some of the blanks of some of these buildings we've got down here. So let's keep looking through them. Uh, we've got Anastasia's already in. We've got Alpha's already in. The Green Man Crew. This is a new one. Let's uh, find a location for this. Maybe he's... On the corner here, maybe it's, yeah, something like that. Forty-five thousand, boom. Oh dear, <laughs> nobody's happy about that. Uh, I don't think the guys that are moving back in here are going to stick around very long. Then, if that's the case. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I'm still going to continue to do what I'm doing though, so I don't even care. The Silverwind Casino, yay! Wow, this is actually quite a size. Um, it's actually quite bloody expensive as well. Half a million, but. It'll be pretty epic. Uh, I'm put it in there, actually. Boom. Let's have a look at this. That's cool. Next. Next up, we've got this nightclub, the Love Knife Club. Life, the, the Love Life Club. I can't even speak to you. I don't even know why that is. Uh, 300,000! Boom! It's in. That's quite an expensive building for something that is so, so small. <laughs> yeah. uh, have we got any more? This is a restaurant, but I look at a Mexican bar. The key is in the description. <laughs> Again, another small building, but this one's not that expensive. 13,000. Let's have a look at this. It's pokey and boom. Mexican bar and grill, cool. Um, next up then. We've got Fahrenheit, which is already in. Kelvin's already in. Celsius 2, I think, is already in, yep. 
Uh, Driver Minge can go in a couple of episodes. Futuristic Fountain. Actually, we'll go with the Sky Suites. Sky Suites is a luxury hotel. Let's put this in right here. 120,000. Boom. Let's have a look at this. Uh, it's alright. I think it's the sexiest building I've ever seen. Uh, right. Next up, have we got anything else? Nope, not already in, and the zoo isn't unlocked yet, so it doesn't matter. Right, okay then, so that's enough for the bars, casinos, and hotels in and around here. I know there was a lot of sad people, depending on what building I put in there, but hopefully these guys will grow, otherwise we'll just change it up ever so slightly. Uh, I'm still leaving our specialization on here for tourism. Yeah, I'll just leave that on there for now. Uh, okay. Do we have anything else to do? No, actually, one more thing before we go. Uh, something I wanted to do last episode. I'll just show you this, guys, as well. I've started shaping this. Again, I want to go with rocks on the outside and then big ass gardens in there and a garden on the back of it. But that looks pretty cool. I am liking how that's looking. Crime's a bit of an issue there. We've got a Tempe road over here, which is literally just Tempe. I will connect it up properly once I decide how it's going to go. Um, but yeah, right, the building I did want to do is in here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the icons because I don't like them. <laughs> um, yes, it's over here. This here, when I built it, is five-star residential. That's what I want. It's just all low density, but really quite wealthy people living up on the edge, on the top of here. So. The idea when I built it was for a gated community, and then I found an entrance for a gated community. So I thought, why well, can put it on here? So, yeah, this is it here, gated community entrance. 12 grand to build it. I'm going to go ahead and remove this and these guys here. Let's see if we can squeeze that on the end there. Can't, because that would be too easy. Space already occupied. Right, I'm going to have to start taking it up the mountain ever so slightly then. So remove these guys as well. I just want to basically get this connected on and then I'll, I'll get it placed in and I can connect it on freehand sort of thing. But the building must be placed on a roadside. Hmm. Let's just pop a road in then for talking's sake. We'll just go something like that. Alright. Can I get away with? Can I connect that road up first? Uh, grass verge, free form, on up there. Let's see if I can get away with removing this. I need to put the signs on so I can see if this requires a road. It doesn't, it's actually done alright there. The only issue with putting it there though is. Nah, uh, it's not going to work, is it? Let's just bulldoze this road here. Yeah, I'm just going to move this further up the mountain, guys. Okay guys, so there, this is what we've had to go for. Um, unfortunately, I've had to remove quite a bit of this to get it to go in, but, you know. I've done a little bit more zoning back on here, so these guys will hopefully come back in and give this some electric and whatnot. But yeah, I've connected up on the roundabout and everything looks pretty cool. So these guys are now officially a gated community. Obviously we're going to need like a wall or a fence or something or hedges around it to actually make this worthwhile being here. But <laughs> yeah, oh, well. having a few issues with fires over here. Um, anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. This has been a very constructive episode actually. I'm also having fires down here, so I'm probably going to have to put a fire station in our industrial area there. But yeah, this is looking alright over here. I like this. Get the rocks in and around here and whatnot, and we can go ahead and just move this guy up, come here. Ah, uh, more up right there. Yeah, why not? That looks alright. <laughs> right, anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, I'm gonna eat him,